Hey guys, here I am again with another daily reading from my book. Um, if you haven't got a copy yet, make sure you do check out my website, bipolarbarbie.com forward slash books. Um, it's available on Amazon, Book Depository, and a bunch of other places, ebook, paperback, and hardback. So here we go. Dear Diary, I just can't think. My brain is my superpower. My mind is my guide. Without it, I have nothing. Have you ever tried to sit with a bunch of law students and keep up when your brain is confused? I used to love our debates. I used to love our ridiculous tangents and hypothetical arguments. I used to be able to tell a good story. Now I just tag along in silence. I am quiet. Quiet is weird. For the first time in my life, I actually have something of substance to say, but my mouth is shut. I try to follow their conversations, but eventually I tune out. It's like I am Bella from Twilight when Edward ran away and she just sat at the table in the cafeteria for months as everyone else talked around her. My life has become a movie. I feel more like an actress every day. I'm just waiting for the plot twist. Where will my story go next? It seems to have plateaued at the climax. The real world has turned to normal. But I have been abducted by aliens. I try to learn about civil procedure with the rest of my classmates. They discuss the rules of litigation like it's a game. They play out scenarios to remember who can sue and in which court. They go over the rules of trials and discuss the differences between the Australian, English, American and Canadian legal systems. They argue about which legal TV shows produce the most accurate depiction of real legal practices. They plan road trips to the Supreme Court. I just sit there staring at my blank page until I find the urge to get up and move. I always find myself wandering around the law library. I end up outside with the smokers. None of my friends smoke, but you end up making friends with the regular puffers on campus. It's a nice break. I enjoy the mix of fresh and toxic air. It gives me something to do for five minutes. Then I return, via the longest route possible, back to the study chairs. No one else has moved. I pick up my textbook and flick through it. I grab my papers and shuffle them around. I sigh and flick them to the side. Then I tap my pen against the note notepad until someone asks me to stop. I then try to draw something to keep my hands busy. I find myself starting to talk about the most bizarre shit, but I can't stop. It's like projectile vomit coming out of my mouth. I can tell the crowd isn't engaged, but I just keep going. The librarian comes over to shush me. I want to make people laugh. I'm a pretty good comedian at the moment, but I am just too loud, too vibrant, and too frantic to sit in the library. Eventually, I pack up my stuff and leave. I find another crowd. I go back to my room and draw another fucking picture. I can't complain. It soothes me. But it isn't solving any of my problems. I have an assessment due tomorrow on tortious liability I haven't even started yet. I hate myself for putting it off for so long. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I could pull an all-nighter and skip the fancy dress party tonight, or I could just go out, get drunk, and tear up the dance floor in my tuxedo or rainbow morph suit. I like option B. Your sincerely, Manic Barbie. Alright guys, you really need to get a copy of this. Um, it's awesome. The reviews have been fantastic. Please purchase the ebook uh, before the end of January. You've only got a few days left. Uh, the ebook, uh, the black and white version is 99 cents. The color version is, I think, $2.99. If you could purchase both of them, that would be a massive help to getting this book out there. I'm not really making any profit off these books at the moment, but what I just want is to keep them as cheap as, and, and as affordable as possible, but also to just get them out there in the world because I know that people will love them. They will help a lot of people. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm really proud of this achievement and I just really hope that it gets the success that it deserves. Um, this is just like the paperback version. I've also got, what have I got over here? These are the color photo versions. Where are we? So they have like the pictures that accompany um, each each diary entry. So I definitely recommend um, checking them out. 
these are like my my favorite ones the picture versions i think they definitely make it so they're definitely worth investing in the the premium photo editions um these are just the paperbacks so far because they're printed in australia the hard covers are printed in the states which means they're taking a little bit longer to get to me but hardcover is how i envision vision everything that's how i picture everything in my mind so i highly recommend you guys get a copy please support my book you will not regret it even if you're not a reader i think that these are really great because you will uh you know they're just a bunch of series of like short stories um which are like you know a couple of pages to maybe like you know six or so pages each story so it's great reading um it's great coffee table kind of book great conversation starter a great gift to give to your friends and family so i really highly recommend getting a copy and uh, if you purchase the ebook or even uh, share a post, tag me in it before the end of January, then you go in the running to win a free signed copy of my book. So I'm looking to give away as many of those as I can each time you share a post about the book um, or leave a review on Amazon, then you go into the running to win um, one. So it counts as one entry for each time you do one of the, the things on the list that I'm going to post down below. So please get a copy. I can't tell you how much, how amazing it is. I know I'm biased, but I, I think it's just absolutely amazing and uh, you will absolutely love it. So thanks guys.